Hey everybody, welcome back to System Shock. Last time we were still here on level 5. But we've mostly explored this area. And we got some some nice uh, weaponry potentially here as well. Which we'll have to test out. I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get back down there. I think I'm just going to try this. It's not quite going to do it. Maybe something like this will work. There we go. Didn't uh, actually realize there was a med pack there, but um, anyway, moving right along here. So, uh, yeah, we uh, also learned a little bit about the level of interactivity in this game when we tossed a grenade up this this grab lift here. So that was pretty sweet. Uh, aside from that, also found a bunch of bodies in a hangar. Uh, which I'm guessing were the people that we heard on the radio or whatever. Uh, so, sadly, things would seem to not go quite so well for them. But I can't say I'm terribly surprised. Anyway, let's see if we can finish exploring this area. This, this uh, floor, and then I guess we'll move on. I'm trying to figure out... I guess I need to go this way. Gonna be careful of respawns. We actually don't want this weapon out right now because uh, we don't have any energy available at the moment. Somewhere around here, there's a couple uh, energy stations. Right, so we haven't gone this way yet, and then there's definitely that we want to take care of. So let's see what we've got going on out this way. I don't think I looked in here. Oh, well. I guess that's kind of convenient. Let's use uh, a couple of those and we'll take the refills and be on our way. So now I guess we can actually use the um, the blaster, as it's called. Let's give this a try. Once we find something to use it on here. Okay. I guess this camera will work. Kablam! <laughs> Indeed, it is a blaster. It does exactly what you think it does. Alright, what have we got? Oh! Does not do a ton of damage. It's, um... Just since we know there's an enemy here anyway. Um, let's try this. Shoot that, and then let's just jack that right up to high. <laughs> and uh, try this again on this guy. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. Two shots instead of, uh, like, five. Maybe a little bit energy inefficient compared to the alternative, but uh, I can live with that, I think. And we got something up there. We've got a log here. It's kind of like a, it's like a lounge area. A little bit. Oh, and some darts. A few trank darts as well. All right, we'll check the log in a sec. I don't know. I feel like I'm going to get ambushed if I go in here. Oh. Maybe this is where everybody was. Hmm. Either way, it's bad news. I'm not sure what I'm hearing on these headphones. I get the computer fan. It's awfully loud on this <laughs> PC, so... Or the uh, the CPU fan, rather. So it's bleeding into the, the headphones a bit. Okay, a little bit of ammo there. I don't even know what happened to this person. They got like a piece of rebar through the chest. That doesn't sound very good. Another thingy on the floor there. Yeah, these people are super dead and they don't have a whole heck of a lot. I see you there. <laughs> I guess they all died to one assassin. That seems kind of shitty. I guess would be the way to put that. Anyway, let's um. Just get this uh, explored all on the uh, the old map here. 
so that we know we don't have to come back. And we'll come back over this way, and let's listen to a couple audio logs, I suppose. Uh, let's see. First one... I'm trying to get away from this, like, sound. Right here sounds good. Internal security report. Subject, Edward Diego. We're gonna nail this guy to the wall. I am now working as his personal secretary, and I've already found signs of a cover-up in sea space Nothing relating to mutagen research, but I'm looking. This thing is big. Okay, so the guy that we helped out was into some shady business. Who could have possibly imagined such an outcome? What about this one? Travers. Oh, the sound is back. Security bot went bananas in the convection shaft. Had to toss in an EMP grenade. Huh. Anyways, the bearings in the northeast convection shaft are shot. I left the repulsors on for the maintenance people. That's it for today. Okay. I think uh, we we were already there. I think that's where we we started the episode at. Maybe. Not a hundred percent sure about that. But uh, yeah, I think we're. I'm in here as far as I can tell. I don't know that we can yeah, do anything with those big boxes there, so. We may as well get out of here, I guess. Alright, what do we got going on down this one? I don't think I checked this guy yet. Is that a soda? Do you have an elevator here? That's interesting. Still got a few cameras left to uh, to check out. Well, let's see where this uh, this elevator goes. I guess. Power diverted to level R. It goes nowhere, as far as we're concerned. Anyway, all right, we got to turn this on. Little do you know, I brought the ultimate power of reload the save to this fight. <laughs> okay, um, well, at least let's get the shields on. Seems like a good uh, use for this uh, gun, maybe. Let's try that out. Hello. Oh. Anybody else? Excuse me? Load? Load, please? <laughs> I clicked on it. I'm like 100% sure. Uh, what if we tried instead? Since we, we barely used it at all. Let's make sure our recording's good here. Um... Da -da 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 -da. Oh yes, uh, that's this is kind of important. Um, the reason our laser rapier stopped working last time is because we ran out of energy. Because you know, go figure that the energy sword needs energy to work, right? So um, that's what happened there. Uh, this, I mean, it could be useful for this situation as well. But let's use this mag pulse. Let's see how that works. Then I think what you do is. You do one of those, and then you're relatively, comparatively safe. Ooh, just one shot, huh? Yeah, I like that. Yeah, the mag pulse. Pretty good weapon, it seems like. Don't have very many shots for it still, though. All right. Various uh, bits of ammo on these guys. So uh, remember to turn this stock off. Well, let's leave the lights on at least, I guess, for now. Um, a little bit of uh, pistol ammo there. I don't think we need the mag pulse on right now, though. So let's just switch back to that. Let me just switch back to that. Okay, we've got a screen here. This is showing a uh, flying dude, but really, we were already in there. And there's no flying dude. I guess he, he must have be. 
Uh, must have respawned? Or no, this is a different hangar entirely because I see a thingy there. So where is that, I wonder? I'm sure it's around somewhere. Oh, there's a cyber terminal here as well. Right, so I already looted that guy. Um, let's grab that. And I guess there's nothing else to do in here at the moment. So I guess we can probably afford to turn the lights off for a sec. I don't like you looking at me like that. Um, what is this thing? Troll pedestal. This pedestal is not functional. Is that because the power is out? Maybe? That could be. Alright, well, let's see what we've got on the old data reader here. Shodan. Cyborg 65B. You have been selected to keep all robots, cyborgs, and mutants away from Beta Girl. On the executive level, no one may enter while my experiments there are in progress. And be certain that none of the lucky subjects escape. Interesting. So we definitely want to go to Beta Grove, or the uh, the Grove and Beta Quadrant on the executive level, which we're not that close to, I don't think. I assume these executive levels closer to like four, what, eight or nine? Well, I don't know, actually, <laughs> maybe uh, we are a little bit close. There's not that many floors after all. Uh, okay, well, time for a little cyberspace. It's been a bit since we've done this song and dance. Let's see what we got. Okay. Oh, geez, they're coming after me right away, huh? All right, where's uh? Oh, yeah, I see ya. I see ya. Okay, you're out of here. Is there another one? Can't. Yes. But I. Oh, there you are. Okay. Whew. So what have we got? Sea Shield version five. I think there's probably some just data over here. I also want to get our drill out. Drill V4 software. Oh, we're getting shot at again, I think. Ah, uh, yeah, by these guys. Let's use a, uh, a decoy. And uh, now let's see if we can deal with the riffraff here. What these guys are exactly. The man manual explains what a lot of these enemies are, but um, I don't remember exactly what it said. Okay. Now let's get the drill out. Oh, shit. It's, uh. <laughs> it's, uh, bouncing them back at me. Is our drill not strong enough? That could be. Seems like we still have like the same amount of uh, time in sea space, though. So the death isn't that big a deal. But uh, yeah, I don't think we're. I don't think we're getting in there. Right? Oh no, we we did. Oh, maybe it was this guy who was shooting me. That looks like an enemy of some kind. Can't really. Yeah, there we go. So that's probably what happened. Alright, so what do we got here? We've got... Where is obsolete? Okay. Oh no, it's this thing. Shoot this thing to death, please. It's too strong. Let's grab, uh... Grab that, at least. Pulsar V7. That's something, I guess. Um, why don't we... Get out of here? And then we'll just come back in. Probably the right way to do things, I would guess. Okay, so what's left? There's that switch thing there. And, um... There's a cyber shield there. Cyber shield V6. Okay. Still don't know how to use the games. Maybe we should, uh, well, we actually don't really have that many decoys, do we? Trying to figure out what I'm going to do about that one critter wherever you went. Oh, there he is. 
can I get the drill to actually work? I don't know if I can strafe in sea space or not. Um, probably better be a little more cautious here, I think. Let's use that. Because uh, if we take much more damage, we're going to die. I mean, if we die again in sea space anyway, so let's, let's drop a save here. It seems like uh, we're not really losing any time here, so I'm not, I'm not sure what that's about. Thought in the, manu in the manual it said that you did, but I guess that's maybe not the case. All right, so where's this guy at? Not sure what this guy even is. It's all kind of abstract. I mean, I'm hitting something, I guess, but is it actually doing any damage? I don't know. No, it doesn't seem like it's just bouncing off him, so... Okay, bay door number three unlocked. Um, we could still try to... get whatever's near this guy, I guess. We'll just have to kind of ignore him. Okay, flight bay armory unlocked as well. Alright, good enough, I guess. No need to, to dilly-dally in here. Let's turn these lights back on. Oh! There is a, a need to dilly dally in here. Okay, landmine. Some ammo. A couple of concussion grenades, which we haven't tried just yet. Uh, Alright, I think that's probably everything that we're going to get in here, by the looks of it. So. We'll, uh, we'll check out this, uh, yeah, this thing keeps beeping at me. Executive door. Oh, is this the, this is, can't be the executive level, can it? Doesn't make any sense. Um, okay. Let's, um, let's see what we got here. Okay, so they are still alive. I guess I, I thought they were on this level, but I guess that's not true. Um, okay, so there's hope yet. It's maybe the best bit of news we've seen in a while. Just gotta kill this guy real fast. Uh, never mind, those people are all dead because <laughs> the Teflon pistol wasn't strong enough. <laughs> I think I literally just saved though, so we should be all right here. Uh, we just probably need to... We're tracking you over security lines. We're still holding, but it's only... Okay. Get that out of the way. And now let's try out, uh, let's see... Da -da -da. Let's just try something a little like this. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> so I guess the advantage of the pipe is that it never runs out of energy. And you can use the Berserk Pack to some amount of effectiveness. But, uh, yeah, no, the Laser Rapier does seem like it's usually going to be more convenient. Let's so we'll just shoot that. We're almost at zero security now. So that's um, actually kind of promising. Uh, all right, I need to flip this around before I lose my mind. Whoops. <laughs> thought there was another Shodan trap there. Um... Got a Magnum, we've got some flying critters here. Don't want to use Teflon rounds on them. We'll use some of this regular ammo. It takes a lot of shots, but I don't see that as being a real problem at the moment. Alright, uh, yeah, let's just drop that there for now and see if there's any ammo in this. A little bit of ammo. Here we are. Uh, I suppose we'll throw that there. Take the blaster back. I think we'll use another one of those as well. I don't know. I don't think we found like a. Uh... 
I don't think we found a uh, surgical bay on this level at all. Maybe we even found the resurrection thing now that I think about it. Uh, do we want to jump down there though? That's a good question. Oh. Okay, I guess that'll work. It's not really the weapon that I had in mind, but uh, yeah, let's check this real quick. Since we're here, do you see that there's a log there? Possibly a note here? No, just a just a good old-fashioned touchstone telephone and uh, a TV. Can't use normal screens. All right. Let's see what the log has to say. Oscar, guess what? I'm under investigation, so shred what you've got. Shred it all. Got that? Now get this. The logs of the experiments are protected by some program called Showdown. So I picked up some hacker who's going to crack it for us. That gives me access to the robos and the other systems on the station. So we've got a shield if they try and dust me. Sit tight, baby. It's under control. Sit tight, baby. It's under control. Well, if that doesn't instill a, just an absolute massive amount of confidence in you, then I don't know what will. <laughs> uh, good times. All right, let's jump down here. See what happens. So we've got uh, like a hard hat, soda can, nothing, nothing, some kind of a log. Uh, a med pack. Didn't help who, <laughs> who's ever, uh, whoever it is that that arm belongs to, unfortunately. Okay. Seems like we came down here for a log, <laughs> and to I guess. I do actually wonder, can I jump up there? I certainly can, with the help of the uh, the jump jets. But oh, actually, you got to. Oh no, I threw that down here. Did I actually check this body though? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I came down here for a log and maybe to get up there. I see that there's a door over there as well. But let's see what we got. Kel. These crates give us good position, but I don't see a way to break through the life pod. Beth and Imran, see if you can get down to where it says flight bay two. Uh-oh, indeed. <laughs> um, yeah, my thought is maybe you do a little shenaniganry like so. Then we can uh, somehow jump up upon this big crate. I'm trying. Maybe, maybe you don't sprint quite as much. Or maybe you do. Really hard to say what the correct outcome is. I'm like bouncing off them. Um. Well, let's. We'll worry about going up there in a sec. Let's just. If we can find an energy recharge station, this will be a lot easier. Unless I can't get through. There we go. Okay, we got a keypad there. I don't know if we found any numbers for keypads yet. Hello there. Anybody else? Yes. <laughs> okay. Whew. Hate those things. There's another one around here somewhere. I don't know where he is though. Um. Maybe that's just the music. I guess. Must be. Unless he's above me. Up there somewhere, that's entirely possible. Maybe, uh... There's one of those up there as a reward if you try to get cute with the jump jets like I was intending to do. This body is just... Made out of... <laughs> Play-Doh or something. There's a skull watching us in the corner there. Whoa! It's not quite what I thought was going to happen. 
Oh, our lights went out because we're <laughs> out of juice. Well, just for good measure. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> I think I just threw that grenade straight up. It's not much better. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think we'll just move on for now. Uh, but not until we explore this little corner like so. There we go. Let's get through here and see what we've got. We've actually... Wait, this is locked, you're telling me. Well, what the shit, man? Now how are you supposed to get out of here? Guess you gotta go this way instead? Oh no, we gotta go up. Keypad unlocks door. Keypad unlocks door. Non-emergency. Life pods disabled. Non-emergency. Life pods disabled. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, doesn't look like there's much going on up there. So, then what? <laughs> Are we just stuck down here? If we don't have any, if we didn't have any batteries? So, lights, structural pillars. Unless they really do expect you to do some platforming, I don't know. Possible, I guess. Um, but I think we can get out of this, I hope. Let's save the game. See what we got. Uh, we'll start with that, I guess. Okay, that's not what I had in mind. <laughs> um, let's use the battery packs first. We've only got actually one more battery pack, so I guess we better be awfully careful here. Go like, uh, yeah, we gotta be more precise with the movement because we, we start bouncing off stuff that's gonna cause a lot of problems. It's really friggin' hard to get on these crates because they kind of move. <laughs> uh, I guess you can just go straight up like that, but then you run out of energy really fast. What if you try a little something like, uh... <laughs> there we go, we just barely made it. Uh, so then I guess we would have to use one of those. Okay, I mean, my plan technically did work, and there was a guy up here the whole time, just not somewhere we could, where we could actually grenade him. This door is... oh no, hang on. Wait, no, that's just a light switch. That's not useful at all. All the doors are locked, man. Surely there's got to be a way to get out of here without all the shenaniganry. Because I don't know if I have enough jump jet to actually get up to there. That could be a real big problem. Um, let's think about this. Because I'm pretty sure, didn't I unlock the door for one of these? I could have sworn that I did. Well, why don't we try a little something like that, maybe? I definitely blew that up. 
It actually does do damage. Much to my surprise. This might kill us. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. that. I didn't expect that to work, because it never has in the past that I know of, so... Uh, what else do you do? Let's go just double check in here, I guess. Make sure there's definitely nothing that we can do down here. Because these are for sure both locked. We may have to come back here later. Maybe hit like the very end of the game if we intend to get out of here. But uh, as for the rest of this... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you're supposed to be able to... Maybe blow up these doors somehow? We can move the boxes. Oh, or we can just destroy the boxes. <laughs> it's not quite what I had in mind. What about, um... Actually, hang on. Okay, I did check that. What about the concussion grenade? Okay, now that just straight up destroys everything. That doesn't seem particularly useful. So now I guess the question is, can we get out of here? Maybe with the help of a box or two? So we first first off, we gotta at least push this box over uh, this way. I don't know if we're gonna be able to push the other one. It's probably too big. That's my guess, but we can try. Kind of smashing my face into it at the moment. Okay, no, we're we're moving it. That might be enough. All right, part two is actually getting on that big box somehow. We're surprised the game is, would let you, like, get stuck like this. As far as I know, there's no other way for us to get out of here with everything locked. This is going to take a lot of finagling, I can tell. It might be easier if I'm just, like, in the corner <laughs> the whole time. Baby, okay. <laughs> we got out of the death trap. Uh, let's never go down there again. Because, uh, holy shit, that was terrible. <laughs> Probably took, took me like 10 minutes to get out of there. I don't know, something like that. But um, we know there's a, a door over there and everything. We just got to figure out what we got to do to get through it. And maybe, I don't know, I don't know maybe we... We do go back for a battery stash at some point, if I can remember where any of them are. Uh, so what else are we doing down on this floor? I feel like there can't be that much left. Did I play with this yet? I didn't, no. Okay. So let's, um, let's try out the Genius real quick. I just want to see what it does. So we kind of got a gist of what that looks like there. We do a Genius. Tells me exactly what I have to do, but then we get shot and killed because <laughs> our controls are backwards. <laughs> okay. And then I guess I can just save scum it, like so. 
Yep. Interesting. Got a little bit of energy left. Let's turn the lights on. And uh, just see what we've got. Wait, is this the door that I... This is the door I couldn't open before! <laughs> if I would have just taken two seconds and gone in the other direction, I could have saved myself all that trouble. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's obnoxious. Well, nothing we can do about it now. Um, except uh, take the security down to 0% out of spite. I'm not sure what that opens up for us, if I'm being honest, but uh, I guess we can look around. It looks like I missed maybe something down this way. Oh, energy station. I need that. Yes, good. Okay. So that helps out a lot. Something this way. Okay, so we haven't been down here. Great, okay. I don't remember what in the world was marked as gray. This door is locked. So that's the, the way into the hangar there. Okay, well, I mean, at least we're... We're making some progress here. Okay. Alright, so... Gray. Ah, it's another one of these shafts. You can see there's a guy right there. Might as well just take care of that right now. Uh, we'll come back. Ah, I guess we'll just look now. It's fine. Can't be any worse of a death trap than <laughs> Hangar 2, or whatever it was. Okay. I see we're doing this, are we? We've got a whole thingamabob of these to get through. Alright, so for this one, we actually got to get to the middle for a bit. No falling damage in this game, apparently. <laughs> so that's, that's nice. But how are we... Oh, this is going to be a little trickier than I thought. Um, can we get to the corner here? Not really. I think we just gotta be faster. Oh, come on, I was in there, you... You lion sack of shit. I know it. The people at home know it. Everybody knows it. <laughs> uh, maybe if we, uh... It would be easier if we crouched. Yes, okay. I'm afraid it's too late to save your friend. Oh. Oh. That's a Cortex Reaver, I believe. Yeah, that's, uh... That is a spicy meatball right there. Let's try the try the good old fashioned mag pulse on that one. Seems to be the biggest gun that we have right now. With a copious amount of lean. Whew! Okay, it's out of here. Um, and we didn't really take that much damage even, so that's good. Yeah, I don't know if we have anything. Other than the uh, the Magpults <laughs> that would have done a whole lot against that. I mean, the, the Magnum was doing damage, allegedly, so there's that. Not even a single item. How stingy. Oh, sorry. <laughs> don't, don't need your arm. Um, not a whole lot going on in here. Actually, that chair reminds me. I, miss, I think I missed something, and there's a little nook somewhere with a chair. There's something on the ground. I think it might have just been like a stamp pack or something, but if I remember, I'm going to try to go back and get it. I'm not sure what that says. But, um, yeah, I think 
There's not much we can do in here really, but move on. Push, maybe push this button. Okay. Grab lift that maybe gets us out of here a little faster. And a stash. Okay, and that as well. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Hang on. Let's uh switch to a different weapon here. So there's another assault rifle in here. Landmine, target identifier V2. Some more various bits of ammo. Nothing on you. Alright, let's uh we'll just uh drop that for a sec. Okay, there's no ammo in that gun, so we don't need to worry about it. Okay. Well, um, let's see what the log has to say, I guess. Okay, uh, I think we need to read that. I, could, I couldn't hear a shit. <laughs> um, hmm. I guess we'll just have to listen to it again while I read it privately. So I'm not going to be able to read it out loud with somebody talking in my ear. Uh, yeah, hang on. Let's see what we got. Okay, so, we've got to, I think uh, this, the, uh, this is actually mentioned specifically in the manual, the plastique can uh, be used to destroy things like antennas, so I guess that's what we're going to use that for, uh, somewhere on the engineering level, I guess, uh, to destroy antennas so Shodan can't hop from here to Earth. Um, that seems like a somewhat sensible thing to do, I just hope we don't have to see too many more of these, because uh, that thing looks real nasty. It's like a half a body in there, and like some dude's head in a jar. That's basically what happens to us in the cutscene if you die without the the uh, regeneration chamber going. Um, but anyway, when we come back, we'll jump up uh, through here and get out of here, hopefully, and finish uh, exploring the rest of uh, le level five here, I guess. A um, little spot there and a couple other nooks around, I'm, I'm sure, that we haven't seen. So... Uh, yeah, it should be interesting.